reaction between an acid and a base to show the process of neutralization. Materials required Dilute hydrochloric acid Dilute sodium hydroxide solution Phenolphthalene Test tubes Dropper Test tube stand Experimental procedure Take about 5 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid in a test tube. Add 1 to 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator to the solution and note down if any change in color. What do we observe? We observe that color of the hydrochloric acid solution does not change on addition of phenolphthalein indicator. Phenolphthalein is a weak acid that, despite its pink ion, is colorless in solution. When hydrogen ions, H+, as in an acid, are introduced to the pink solution, the equilibrium shifts and the solution becomes colorless. Now, take about 10 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide solution in another test tube. Take out sodium hydroxide solution with the help of a dropper and start adding the solution dropwise into the test tube containing hydrochloric acid till a change in color is observed. What do we observe? On adding nearly 5 ml sodium hydroxide solution to the mixture of hydrochloric acid and phenolphthalein solution, the color of the mixture changes to pink. If hydrogen ions, H+, as found in an acid, were added to the pink solution, the equilibrium would switch and the solution would be colorless. Adding hydroxide ions, OH-, as found in bases, will change the phenolphthalein into its ion and turn the solution pink. With the help of another dropper, take out hydrochloric acid and start adding it dropwise into the colored solution obtained above. What do we observe? On addition of hydrochloric acid solution to the pink solution, the color starts fading gradually and finally the solution becomes colorless. When hydrogen ions, H+, as in an acid, are introduced to the pink solution, the equilibrium shifts and the solution becomes colorless. Precautions Be careful while handling the acid 